The adjustment of the Eastern Swamp Gorilla's preservation status was reported yesterday at the Continuous Yukon World Protection Congress in Hawaii. The overhauled posting of the Grower's Gorilla depends on ongoing overviews by the Untamed Life Protection Society WCS, and Fauna and Vegetation Global FFI, which showed that gorilla numbers in eastern DRC have declined by an excess of 77% over the most recent 20 years. Less than 3,800 people stay in the wild today down from 16,900 people in 1994. The world's biggest chimp, the Grower's Gorilla or the Eastern Marsh Gorilla, is currently nearly termination. The gorilla subspecies, Gorilla Beringe Growery, discovered distinctly in Eastern Majority Rural Republic of Congo, DRC, has been upleaned to fundamentally jeopardized on the Yukon Red rundown of undermined species. With this posting, Every one of the four gorilla subspecies, cross stream gorilla, western marsh gorilla, growers gorilla, and mountain gorilla, are currently basically imperiled. The other two incredible primates in Africa, chimpanzee and bonobo, are as of now recorded as imperiled. The adjustment of the eastern marsh gorilla's preservation status was declared yesterday at the Continuous Yukon World Protection Congress in Hawaii. We are appreciative that Yukon and the Species Endurance Commission Primate Expert Gathering have acknowledged our suggestions to redesign the posting of Grower's Gorilla, Andrew Plumter, the lead creator of the modified posting, said in a statement. Basic imperiled status will raise the profile of this gorilla subspecies and focus on its predicament. It has would in general be the ignored gorilla in Africa, notwithstanding being the biggest chimp on the planet. The changed posting of the Grower's Gorilla depends on recent surveys by the Untamed Life Preservation Society, WCS, and Fauna and Vegetation Worldwide, FFI, which showed that gorilla numbers in eastern DRC have declined by an excess of 77% over the most recent 20 years. In certain destinations, their populaces have decreased by over 94%. Less than 3,800 people stay in the wild today, down from 16,900 people in 1994. The review results assisted us with recognizing basic locales for the protection of the leftover gorillas, Richard Tashombe, WCS's country chief for DR Congo, said in the proclamation. We have effectively begun drawing in networks in a single region to ensure the gorillas in the Punia Gorilla hold, and we keep on supporting their preservation in Kahuzi Biega Public Park. Likewise, we set up the Atumwe Save in June 2016 which ensures a second significant populace. The decrease in Grower's Gorilla is essentially determined by illicit chasing for meat, traditionalists say. Furnished gatherings that set up mining camps somewhere down in the backwoods in eastern DRC resort to chasing gorillas for meat without agribusiness. Common distress in the district has additionally expanded deforestation and unlawful chasing. The Rwandan destruction of the 1990s, for instance, prompted the demolition of Grower's gorilla populaces, John Robinson, a primatologist and boss preservation official at the WCS, told the gatekeeper. Rwandan evacuees moved into the secured spaces of eastern DRC, where they depended on different mining exercises and went to gorillas for bushmeat. To see the eastern gorilla, perhaps the nearest cousin, slide towards termination is genuinely upsetting, Inger Anderson, Yukon Chief General, said in a statement. We live in a period of enormous change and each Yukon Red Rundown update causes us to acknowledge exactly how rapidly the worldwide annihilation emergency is raising. Preservation activity tackles job and we have expanding proof of it. It is our obligation to improve our endeavors to reverse the situation and secure the eventual fate of our planet.